Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Jay here up in Canada, Canada, Canada. Canada. Um, I was holding somebody here. I'd, uh, I'd post a video of the new KFI plow I got for my my uh, Can-Am Defender. Um, I think they all mount the same from right up from 16 to 22, maybe. Uh, double check that because I'm not 100 percent sure. But mine's a 20. Um, this plow is pretty straightforward to mount. It basically bolts on. Uh, I'm going to show you the plow once I get the door open here in the shed, and we'll go from there. All right, so this is the KFI 72-inch plow. It's a pretty decent plow. I had a, I had one of the uh, K&M plows. They bolt on a little different underneath the machine. They go kind of in under the frame. This one here kind of bolts to the front. But this here plow is pretty solid. It's pretty, it's, like it's, uh, yeah, and it's pretty straightforward to put together. Like it's not, there's not a lot, a lot of stuff to. I think to put it together maybe took me, I don't know, the better part, maybe an hour. Cause you have to assemble the plow. I bought these separate. These didn't come with it. These are just so I could see because I got a K&M Defender for what you can see of it, and I. Uh, I couldn't really see like the plow when I'd lift it up. I'd have to almost lift it right up above the uh, above the uh, push bar there, so or the bumper. But um, so I bought these just so I could see where I was going, so I wasn't smoking the plow off anything and ruining it. The plow cost me around I'm in Canada, so it cost me about a thousand bucks. I think it was like eleven hundred bucks with the taxes and everything. So my machine has a lift in it. Um, it's got a two, I think it's a two inch spacer lift. Uh, the plow works pretty good when um, it's straight like this, but when you angle it, you can buy a drop bracket for this plow. So when you angle the plow, it kind of lifts whatever way you're angled. Say if you're turning this angle, this, this part in, um, it'll lift. When you put the plow down, that corner will be off the ground. So it doesn't quite sit flush, but when you're straight on, it sits flush. Now, for lifted machines, they sell a drop bracket, and it all depends. KFI sells them, and it goes by whatever size lift you have in your machine. So say you have a 2-inch lift, you buy the 2-inch drop bracket, and uh, that'll bring it level. And then you just have to adjust your, uh, adjust your feet on the end here, like on the bottom. The, uh, I think it's called casters. And... To mount this up, it was pretty straightforward. You can get a picture of here. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a, it's literally a plate, and it's got four bolts in it. It's got six actually. Two on the outside there. These two. I drilled those um, just for extra support. And to mount this thing up, it's pretty slick. Like you just pull these pins out of it. You line it up with these. And you put the uh, there's two on each side. And you just push it through, and then you hook your winch to this thing. And you can put your winch to wherever you want on this. Like you can uh, you can move this bracket up, like up if you want your winch. Whatever depends on the machine you got. Whatever angle you want to have your uh, your winch cable at. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty decent for the price. I mean, you could go buy a can and plow and. It's you know fourteen fifteen hundred bucks. I think maybe so maybe they're more now. I don't know if you can get one. But I mean these here. Uh, I don't know. I looked at a few reviews. Like there wasn't a whole lot of reviews for the Defender and how to mount up that bracket and stuff underneath. But um, like I said, that bracket is straightforward. Like it's it's uh, the the bolts, four bolts that are in it. They basically are already in the machine to bolt into. And then the other one, the two on the outside, the two top on the outside. They. Uh, you just drill those through with a drill, and you can reach them from the, uh, the back side. Of the, uh, you can see them. I don't know if you can see them down there by the range. But yeah. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. I, my cable, my winch cable broke. I I was a little rough on it the first couple of days I used this thing. And uh, I smoked a winch cable, so my winch cable looks kind of rigged up. But, Anyways, uh, that's basically it, man. It's pretty. It's a pretty solid plow for you know, 
the price of it and everything else. So I'm sure you could go buy a truck plow. I don't know. I I thought about buying a snowblower, but for the price of the difference in those Burko snowblowers, it's it's it just made sense for me to buy a plow. So. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll stop it here and I'll maybe try some plow and I'll show you guys how she works. So guys, here's the plow hooked up to the machine. Uh, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you just hook your winch to that. You put those two pins in the plow. You can pick it up and down. I don't know. The, uh, I call them finger holes, but that's where I put my fingers through just to kind of lift it up so I can push it in between these two. And you put the pins through, hook that up, man, and that's it. Like she's That there, um, it's got three pivot points. I know Can-Am has a few more. Uh, I think Can-Am has five or six. I had one. I had a can I one for my XMR, I had, and uh, it was good, I just didn't like how you had to go, the plate had to be so far in underneath your frame, and uh, it, it just, it was a lot of work to take it off and on. This one here, you can leave it on, you can leave the can am one on too, but the can am one had arms, like little pivot, like, uh, I don't know, I guess they're arms, not arms, but little things that came out off it, and you hooked your plow onto it, it just clicked on. And they said it was pretty simple to do, but I don't know. I found this one here is pretty uh, pretty simple to do too. So, and for the price point, it's it's worth it. But yeah, uh, I just found those little arms that came off the can, and when they would uh, if you hit them, like you say you're out in the summer or something like that, and you're four wheel, and you hit them on a rock, it would bend them, and you have to go buy a brand new plate. Whereas this one here, I don't think you can hit this off anything. I guess you could, but. I don't know what you'd really bend. Uh, yeah, so. I already did a pass with this once. Like, I only did one pass, and it's. it's this thing works good. So. I'll, uh. Actually, I can pick it up, and I'll show you guys the, uh. I'll show you guys the pin for it. I'll show you how, with, with the lift, it, uh. doesn't quite sit flush. So that's all the way over. That's far out here she'll go. So say when you put it down. So that's down. That's with the winch. All the way. Well. And you can see how that corner is sitting on the ground. And this one's up. Basically I can. I can put my boot under there. So when you're going. With this like this. With the lift of the machine. You uh. You're not plowing at all. You're leaving like a ridge, so you have to go over it like quite a bit more. So, I didn't buy the drop bracket just because I don't know, maybe I'm cheap. But I um, yeah, I may buy the drop bracket. I guess if I if I do end up keeping using this, but I mean I switch machines so often. Like I've had X3s and Mavericks Forks. I probably should have done reviews on everything, but I uh, I didn't. So, but anyways. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments and I'll try and answer them the best I can. That's, uh, I'll probably do a couple things on my machine too later. Uh, I buy these machines and I, I put thousands into them just to do them up and then I should probably show everybody. I do all my work myself. I don't do, the dealer does nothing really. I do everything. I do all the installs of all the, uh, Everything on my machine, really. So, yeah. So, yeah, you guys have any questions, uh, fire them in the comments, and uh, I'll try my best. Right?